Hi folks, welcome to lesson four, quantitative chemistry with Prism Science. Uh, same lesson format as per usual, so stop the uh, video anytime and go and get what you need. Um, and you definitely need your periodic table again, and you're definitely gonna need your calculator again. So if you've not got it, go and get it now. And we'll start with our first retrieval slide. So pause and retrieve. And the answer to that question is here at the stage of the cell cycle. So if you need to pause and revise, then do that now. The second retrieval slide is here. This is P1 particle model of matter. So pause and retrieve. And the answer to those questions are here. So you can pause and revise. And the last set of questions are here, which are from the last couple of lessons. So you can pause and retrieve. And the answer to the questions are here. So you can pause and just check through your answers. Now, today's lesson is all about calculating moles. You're gonna need a few documents from Show My Homework or copy straight from the screen. Uh, there's this document. And then the second part of it looks like this. And then we have some practice questions which are going to look like this. So here we are looking at uh, moles and how we calculate moles. And the first question says, what is a mole? And I want you to write as I write, please. So a mole is a certain number of particles, a certain number of particles. And I'm gonna tell you what that number is for one mole. Uh, the number is a very big number, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. That equals one mole 6.02 times 10 to 23 uh those of you who've forgotten about standard form that just means 6.02 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 23 times we call that one mole and the reason we deal with moles uh is because when we get chemical reactions you've never got like one particle just reacting with another particle we're really talking millions and trillions and billions of particles which are reacting together. Now we don't talk in terms of millions and billions of trillions, we talk in terms of moles. So if we use the word mole, we're talking about this number of particles. So it's a huge number, that'd be one mole. And we actually call that number uh, the Avogadro constant. So I'm just gonna put a little curly brackets up here because the question is the same. So state the Avogadro constant and it is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's what we call the Avogadro constant. It's, it's the number of particles in one mole. Now, question three says, how can you calculate one mole of a substance? And it's very simple. One mole equals, or is equal to, AR, or MR of the substance in grams. So the AR or the MR of the substance in grams. Now, if you remember, AR stands for relative atomic mass. MR is the relative formula mass or the relative molecular mass. And obviously we know what grams are. So it's actually easier this if I show you a few examples. Uh, so I'm going to show you some examples just underneath. So here we've got some, so I'm gonna put one mole of carbon. So let's look, one mole of carbon equals, now it says here one mole equals the AR or MI in grams, well I've got an atom, so we use the AR. So over on the left hand side, I'm just gonna put the symbol for carbon, so carbon is here. And if you use your periodic tables, you'd have, you should have it in front of you. You will know that the mass number or the relative atomic mass is 12. So one mole of carbon is 12 grams. 
if you have 12 grams of carbon, you have exactly 6.02 times 10 to the 23 carbon atoms. Uh, let's try another one. One mole of sodium equals, and some of you will reach for your periodic tables immediately and find the symbol is Na. It's in group one and it has a mass number of 23. And therefore, if I want one mole of sodium, we will have or need 23 grams. 23 grams of sodium has 6.02 times 20, 10 to the 23 atoms. A little bit more difficult. One mole of CO2. Now you notice now I don't have um, an element, I've got a compound here. So I'm going to have to do something slightly different. So I'm going to on the left hand side, I'm going to just write down the element it's made from. So carbon 12, this is mass number, oxygen, mass number 16. Uh, it's got two oxygens though, so a little bit of mental math. So this relative formula mass is 12 plus 16 plus 16 and that equals 44 grams. So 44 is the relative formula mass of CO2. So 44 grams of it is one mole. 44 grams is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 uh, CO2 molecules. And the last one, one mole of H2O, obviously water, equals, but again, I'm just gonna list the atoms. So we have H2O would be two hydrogens and one oxygen. So two hydrogens would be two plus 16. We have 18, that's the relative formula mass in grams would be one mole. So that's very simply how we work out one mole of any substance uh, using their atomic mass or their relative formula mass. Now they put that together we come up with an equation for calculating moles, and it is this, the number of moles, equals the mass in grams divided by the MR, or the AR. We tend to use the MR more often because we're usually dealing with compounds. So that would be it, or we can abbreviate it to simply moles equals mass over MR. So that is the key knowledge for today. It probably is a good idea to put a little star next to uh, questions uh, four and questions one, two, and three. So I'm just gonna do that now. So one, two, three. And then question four. And now will be a good chance to pause the video and just do a little bit of retrieval on just two minutes. You can put your hand over it and try and say it back to yourself or get somebody to, to, um, to peer test you and just check that you know the absolutely fundamental knowledge there. So pause the video and then we'll move on after that. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do today is have a look at how we do the calculations and then practice some calculations. So I've got some here, some worked examples I'm going to work through with you. It says calculate the number of moles in 15 grams of lithium. So calculate the number of moles, that's the question, in 15 grams of lithium. And I'm going to write the formula straight away before I forget it. So moles equals mass divided by MR, and then I'm gonna put my numbers in the right place. So moles equals 15 divided by the MR. Well, we're not strictly speaking got an MR, we've got an AR. So I'm just gonna put AR equals seven, and that's from the periodic table, because uh, lithium symbol is something like this. Seven is the mass number. So we have uh, 15 divided by seven, so if you get your calculators and have them ready today, moles equals 15 divided by seven, and that comes to 2.1 moles. That's how simple it is. So 
So that's one type of question. Uh, the next type of question is calculating mass. So it cal says calculate the mass of sulfur uh, in 2.4 moles of sulfur. Um, straight away, this kind of thing what I'm going to do is just write down over here the AR of sulfur. So AR, or the relative atomic mass on the periodic table, top number is 32. And I'm going to write the equation, so moles equals mass divided by MR. And then I've just got to put things in the right place here. So 2.4 is the moles. The mass we don't know, uh, but the AR is 32. Now, so we've got mass divided by 32. So if I want to know what mass is, I need to times both sides by 32, times by 32, times by 32. So 2.4 times 32 equals the mass. And again, you're going to need the calculator, but I'm just going to write it down as we're going through here. So mass equals 76. At eight grams. So that's the mass of 2.4 moles of sulfur. Okay, so I'm going to just work through two more just to check that we've got a consistent method. So here we are calculating the number of moles. So again, the number of moles in 66 grams of carbon dioxide of CO2. That's important. Our first thing I'm going to do over here is write down the MR. Now you'd have to work this out. I can do it in my head, but you might need to work it out a bit more slowly. So carbon is 12, 12, oxygen is 16, so you've got 12 plus 16 plus 16 equals 44. And then I'll write the equation, moles equals mass over MR. Uh, let's put things in the right place. So moles equals the mass is 66, 66 grams divided by the MR, which is 44. And again, you can use your calculator. If you can't do this in your heads, it comes to 1.5 moles. And the last question is a little bit like question number two. So this is calculating the mass of carbon dioxide in four moles. Now we've already done uh, the MR of carbon dioxide. It's over here, so I don't need to, that, to do that again. So I'm just going to get the equation down, moles equals mass over MR. Put the right numbers in the right place carefully. So 4 equals mass divided by 44. So mass is divided by 44. So I need to times both sides by 44. Times by 44 times by 44. 4 times 44 equals mass. So again, check it with your calculator if you want to, um, but I think mass equals 176 grams. So four moles of carbon dioxide is 176 grams. So there we have four worked examples. Uh, that's how you should do it every single time. That's how you should show your work in now. That's good practice So make sure you use the methods, please, because it's the methods which will stick with you. We're not interested in the answer so much, it's having a consistent method, so please use the correct method. So here we have the practice questions for today. So if you wanna take that method we've been using and practice uh, answering these questions, uh, either on, on, the, on the sheet of paper for show my homework or directly onto a piece of lined paper, then do so now, please. And the answers to the questions are here. Uh, you'll notice that I've always tried to work out the relative formula mass on the right hand side first. That's questions one to three, questions four, five, and six. Seven, eight, and nine. And there's the final three questions. So that's it for today. Uh, well done. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all for the next lesson.